earliest mention I could find of the Pavilion Ballroom was the, uh, an advertisement from 1929 in the Democrat. It was advertised as a marquee with electric light throughout. You can imagine the, the, the coloured bulbs inside. The, the Black Rock was electrified, uh, received electrification around that period. And indeed had a water scheme, which was very sophisticated compared with the rurality of the rest of the parish. Um, I began to attend the pavilion um, in the late 1960s. My earliest recollection of the summer of 69, when I was 16. Um, Sean Dunphy the whole down of the show band who played that first night. And I was thrilled to hear them play Proud Mary, then a current Creed and Clearwater revival hit and one of my favourite songs of all time. Tell you the truth, I did very little except listen to the band in early months going to the pavilion. Um, my face was a constellation of acne and I lacked confidence. I was an only child. And um, I gingerly fingered it down on my upper lip in an attempt to cultivate it into a moustache. It would be a year later before I would learn to jave and dance properly and chat to girls with ease and before I could begin to date them on anything like a regular basis. Um, it seemed it was an amazing place then. Yeah. Where was it situated? Though? It was situated at the south end of Main Street, on the side next to sea. I'm not showing the exact the, the, when the building was built itself. It was just a, an asbestos roofed hangout, really. You know what I mean? There were very small entrance doors into it. Um, uh, there was just um, a double door for the band to bring in their equipment, and there was a single door down where the, where, where the clients paid their fees. The, door, the single door was, a, was at an angle, about a 45 degree angle to the street, in a tiny little hall, in a, a, a tiny little port, and two security men, two bouncers, collected their tickets as they went in. So, uh, when I started to go in the late 60s, it was six and six into a dance. That was an old money. We didn't go to Esme until 71. The bigger bands, uh, the big of Bush, Moore and the Capital, uh, the Royal Show Band, Dickie Rock, Joe Dolan, they would command a price of seven and six. You can listen to lots more on Discovered Heritage at www.gatheringheritage.com. Mm-hmm. 